In order to be a great researcher, which is what we're honoring Dr. Grable for, you have to have that spark. You have to have that human spirit of discovery. With Dr. Grable, life is just research. Every breathing moment for him is research. Dr. Grable is a brilliant researcher, and he's also someone who cares about the people he works with. My name is Chaim Grebo. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at NJIT. I'm also a director of the Electronic Imaging Center. And my passion is nanotechnology. My father was an artist, and he used to say that art is creating new things. Science, in essence, is the same thing. You create new things, new structures, new materials. What we do here is uh, growing carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes is a rolled graphene. When you take graphene and you roll it into a tube, like very thin wires, uh, that means that we can build up very small circuit with carbon. And since carbon is biocompatible, which means the body does not reject it, then you can think of way of functionalizing carbon nanotube to aid uh, public health. What, what vision do we have for those small circuitry? How about a small circuit in the brain to combat Alzheimer's disease? Nanotechnology is not just about small stuff, it's about innovative nanostructures. Here at NGIT, we can devise carbon-based films which prevent corrosion of prosthetic limbs. Yet another example, we use graphene to devise special platforms which mimic the way viruses attach to membranes of our body either swine flu or avian flu, and by detecting the attachment or the binding process, one day, hopefully, we'll be able to devise better drugs to combat those viruses. We're not just growing uh, carbon nanotubes or graphene. We not only functionalize them, we need to characterize them. That means that we use lasers, we bounce the laser off those structures, and we look at changes of these laser beams. This gives us an ability to see, quote unquote, what we have fabricated and assess how effective or ineffective these structures are. What does the old say, right? Man is the measure of all things, so we have to bring these uh, other dimensions to the research. That's the best way to describe his body of knowledge. It was just inspired, really. The best work comes from people that are really happy about and passionate about what they're doing. He's very good at keying in on, on individuals' um, interests and talents. He inspired me to read voraciously and come up with my own ideas. There's always something new to do. There's always something new to try. His discipline to pursue a technical problem. It, it was a big influence and it really helped me in the uh, pursuit of finishing the doctoral degree. To me, teaching is uh, addressing students as future peers, that I just share my experience with them and they share their experience with me. As an undergraduate, Dr. Grable gave me the opportunity to participate in something real life. He really wanted us to make a contribution to his department. It's not just the research students who are working day and night, he worked with us day and night too. He was very much a mentor in that way and a leader. As a teacher, I'm bringing the same passion that I had at NJIT working with Dr. Grable. I hope to inspire my students to consider science as their future. Research is not just solving problems that we face now. It's not just about the number of papers, it's about the quality of work, it's about the quality of life, that you want to make an impact on other people's life. It's also about asking the right question that future generations will be able to solve.